This is late night with stirring up trouble. I'm in my pajamas. We got some stuff going oh. on right now. Right. Oh, no. <laughs> That's a hard instrument to practice, isn't it? I, I can play. I can play Cripple Creek. <laughs> Uh, like, That's ridiculous. Just... <laughs> you like it? I'm like, yeah. No, the whole scene. I'm looking at the screen. Just the whole scene is ridiculous. <laughs> uh, what you doing late at night? Uh, uh, so what were we talking about? We were talking about. Oh God, we're talking about everything. Oh, um, how long I've been taking Regenerate? Oh yeah, that's what I wanted to know. Hey, you know How what's long? amazing? I'm not drunk or high right now. <laughs> That's okay. I'm glad you feel comfortable to express yourself. Because <laughs> usually, <laughs> right now, I would be what? <laughs> usually, you're high or like have a, not lately, usually, but I mean, for years, it was like a bottle of wine. Oh, wow. <laughs> So tell me about the regenerate. You've taken a lot of it over the past few months. Yep. So like <laughs> now I'm playing the violin. <laughs> <laughs> so you didn't pick okay. Alright, so you picked up a new instrument after taking regenerate. Yes. Okay. Yes. Alright, what else what else is new? <laughs> what else is new? Yeah. My sleep is amazing. Okay, improve uh, sleep quality. My lymph nodes that are usually kind of f um, fluffy, you know, like mm. are not, at, they're still like, you know, you can, they're still prominent, but they're not like fluffy. But now also, that's not just because of the regenerate. That's not because of the regenerate. Nope. That's because you have been doing a lot of different things that I've Health. suggested. Yes. Yeah. Because yeah. I have my so, private calls with you. Actually, you know what? This could be your personal, like, hey, y'all, you need to book your private call. Because the calls that I've had. Well, I'm just enjoying the conversation. I mean, yeah, we can do whatever. Well, I'm, just, I'm just saying, like, it, but it's really beneficial having you know all of the things that I'm going through. Because then your recommendations for just, like, you know, I'm going to have some regenerating loot right now. I notice a big difference in my in my sleep and in my day stress level. The stress has not left like the stress things, you know, like the things that are causing the stress issues. They're still there. I just react totally differently to them. Yeah. That's because instead of being at an 11 all the time, you're at a 7 and you can you know, Honestly, it. more like a two, really. I mean, I'm still well, detoxing about. Well, that's the thing. Um, where where does these lymph node drainage go to? I mean, it's leaving your body. I think. I mean, like any time I open up a new part of my ribs and I can breathe deeper into my ribs, and I have this thing in front of me, and I can breathe deeper into my ribs, then I it it comes with a little bit of like loogie. <laughs> loogie hawking or like a little bit of uh, congestion i feel like once those mm -hmm. ribs start to move again and some of the stuff you're doing is changing your rib position yeah because you got me wearing those strap things yeah you got me wearing those straps <laughs> he would say it like that <laughs> now i just need to work on my tongue i need to do my tongue work <laughs> Hey, that's the, that's the thing that I'm trying to fully be able to do. I grasp the concept of it. So but tell me. Is, tell me about the tongue. Tricky. Tell me about your tongue, okay, Sean. So, all right, so it's not just my tongue. It's everybody's tongue, okay? <laughs> We're just one big swallowing mechanism. So <laughs> if you, essentially, the stronger your swallow, the stronger your whole spine and the whole center of your body is the stronger you swallow. So if you suction cup your tongue to the roof of your mouth 
and then swallow a few times, it can raise the suction pressure. And when that suction pressure gets raised, it opens up all of your sinuses. Because it's actually like like putting tension and like spreading the soft palate of the roof of the mouth, which aids in draining the lymph nodes in the head oh. and all the sinuses in the head and everything in the head. So it's like, um, it's very potent. Plus, when you achieve it and you get it sucked to the roof of the mouth, then... Uh, can't talk. Oh yeah, you can't talk about like that. Yeah, you definitely can't. Um, but, and then you also want to, um, extend the distance in between the teeth, push the chin forward. And it's all about opening up all the pathways in your nasal passages, ears, nose, throat, for best breathing and best body position, and then it carries through the whole body. So, you know, it's just where, you know, the straps would be influencing the spine position at the shoulder level. The tongue suctioning to the roof of the mouth is informing the body from the roof of the mouth level a little, which is higher. So can you tell, um, since I haven't mentioned my straps, can you tell me why I'm wearing the straps? I mean, I know why, but I like... Well, so, well, so it's, it's something that I don't do enough for myself, but I'm also doing Iyengar yoga all the time too, where I'm getting my rib stretching in there, right? But yeah, it's, it's just, I could tell that your ribs were compressed a little oh, bit. Oh yeah. And so if you wanna, it would just help you to decompress your ribs. So I, that's why I suggested it. And it's like, you can just put it on and be mindless about it. It's great. And I like, I like it cause it looks like a gun holster. Yeah, it kind of looks cool. Yeah, and the, the last, the last uh, video that we did, it looked cool. Eleven dollars. Yeah. yeah, that could be your thing. You just always wear a, a harness. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'll It'll make fine. you popular with the boys. I'll tell you that. The ones. Well, that not the simply beta boys. No, the ones that want to be dominant. Yeah. No, the ones that want to dominate, right? Oh yeah, yeah, that too. Yeah, for sure. I wasn't thinking of the mechanism. Oh no, I mean it's a handle. It's it's a handle. Yeah. <laughs> but honestly, that's right. Who doesn't want an additional handle? A handle. I mean, come on, I mean, get, a, get a like, handle look, on her. Has anybody ever looked at a backpack and been like, "That's too many handles." That's you know, it's helpful. More handles, the better. It's true. A backpack. <laughs> you know, it was like, "There's too many yeah. handles on this thing. I can't carry it enough different ways." <laughs> So me learning, so stirring up trouble world, me having myself be my own uh, experiment, you know, I have noticed a huge difference in changing the way I eat, taking the liver. I don't take it enough. Today you mentioned taking so many of those pills. I have not ever taken that many. I, I, to like, I swear I tell people yeah. the proper amount to take from day one. And then for months after that, people are like, always like, wait, how many effing I, pills? I, know. Like, I told you that from day one, it's one per 10 pound of body weight. You have to understand that it's just liver. Like if you were eating a meat on your plate. You're not gonna eat a teeny little bit, yeah. You're not gonna eat, you know, that's what the, so, you know, the, basically I just try to get as many of them down. I don't count. I just, ooh, you know, liver, you know, and I'll just pop a few. You know, Notice the big difference when I travel and I'm about to go on a trip. So I'm going to bring the liver with me. I have a cooler. I got my, uh, my raw milk, which I really love. And ironically, that doesn't make me mucusy. Well, yeah, we've talked about that. And it's weird. Me either. Homogenized milk really makes me mucusy. But Same. the raw stuff doesn't. Not it's at all. the weird you know, thing. I don't feel stupid like guzzle it and then go directly to bed without like drinking water or something. I don't think, I'm not suggesting doing that, but I still think that would probably be fine, but it might even help some people <laughs> thinking yeah. about it loud because you're, you know, your beneficial bacteria versus not. So, okay. So you're and picking up this instrument 
Yep. Oh, so, oh since regenerate, I now play the violin. Yeah. Uh, I feel better, uh, much better. I feel like my skin is better. Uh, I'm calmer. Uh, I have, you know, though, I and I today it happened again today because I took a regen up to like the high dose of it. And right after it was about an hour later, who's sitting there crying? Me. Yeah, but you know, the other thing too is, and I was after our conversation, you know, I, it's like we're in a time of great change right now, and accepting reality is very difficult right now. I mean, I remember, you know, back in when we were locked in our homes, remember how fun that was. And uh, let's remember that so it never happens again. And researching, just like going full on ASPE on researching everything related to everything that I had already knew, known was a scam. And right. uh, it's just, it's a bummer. You know, so like, <laughs> seeing, you, seeing you be emotional at the end of our last call, you know, at the end of our last recording, um, I was just like, yeah, it, you know, I just wanted to say to you, it is a real bummer learning all this stuff. And it's, and it's, it's, I pushed it away and was like that. I'm not going to believe this stuff because right. it's just too, like, you don't want it to be true. You don't, and that's you, exactly the, it. You don't the, want the, it to be true. And so the things that you know that are true mixed with the things that I know are true and your expansion into the things that I've, you know, your And it's the same people. Right. So that just has to be even more crushing for you. Yes. But, because yeah. you know th those people from the other angle. Yeah. So it's like, it's just such a bummer. And, you know, the thing is, if you allow them to make you bummed about it, they win too. Yeah, I mean that's sure. where I'm at right now. I'm kind of, I, and to give anybody who, like, if we wherever we use this conversation, to give a cliff notes of what we mean by that, is that the bad guy, like the bad guy, the plural and women. I mean, they're definitely a lot of women. Um, they're bad. They're like real straight up evil people who have no conscious who have no connection with god who torture children and therefore nothing is off the table <laughs> you have to understand that once you're there yeah there is nothing that is off the table yeah of course they're poisoning so that, so food and the air right. and, the, and the soil exactly. and they're all working yes. together and i mean when you start excel spreadsheeting it these dirty ass people that control things yeah the thing that does make me a little bit more, like the warrior in me like oh yeah oh yeah watch this you know is there's actually not that many of them mm -hmm. i mean there there are there's a lot of them but there's not that many compared to how many survivors there are right yep yeah. And then not only survivors, but the people that have not survived any of that horrible stuff, but um, are aware or becoming aware. But Eddie Bernays, when he unleashed propaganda on the world, you know, a cousin to Freud, didn't foresee the propaganda operation to stop working, people to get smarter than the propaganda and mess. And that's what's happening now. That's where we're at right now. People are getting smarter. Yeah, well, yeah, that some people are getting dumber, some people are getting smarter. It's, right. It's like the internet is a tool. Some people use it to get dumber, some people use it to get smarter. Well, and also they can argue with you. I mean, you could actually argue. It's like if you're going to argue the shot, for example, which you probably can't even mention that. If, if you're going to argue the come here, naughty, juicy, juicy. Some people, there will be people. This is why you get kicked off things because. <laughs> you know what it is, though? There, there's, I'm such a rebel, and ever since I was a little kid, I've been calling out for. Like when I was eight years old, I would, I would actually in a bar, I would kick guys out of a bar, at eight years old. I know. 
It was uh, it was pretty awesome actually. Looking back on my little self, but it's like I, because I'm the daughter of a bad guy, you know. So I'm like, I I am aware, but I, there's a certain rebel spirit that I have that I don't care. But it's married with, and it, it hit me today emotionally actually when I took my regenerate. It um it hit me that I'm also very scared of the beast. Scared of the beast. Yeah. That's I'm not sure there's a the proverbial the proverbial beast. beast. Yeah, like the the bad guys, the guys that are doing just the horrible, like you know, gr groups of men working together to torture a, a child. To me, is, is like worse than anything. Where like you don't, I don't even know what can be worse than that. And then those people who are have have power with money and control, and they're also do, involved in all these other things that are poisoning people. That actually kind of a, a part of me. It scares the shit out of me. And then it also pisses me off, and I want to, you know, totally be vigilante. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I can't be a vigilante, so what What can I do? I can empower the survivors and keep being funny and hiding in plain sight. Yeah. Uh, the point is, getting in tune with the present moment means that you get to feel the present moment, right? Just fuck so, Right, so isn't there a lot of times, you know, where you're... I don't know, I just, I, I just felt like going through learning that everything is this, like fully accepting where we're at right now and what's going on. <laughs> um, just there's been a lot that has come with that, I, I thought. So I don't know if that's why you might be getting em emotional or, you know, or, or, if, or if it's the regenerate. Because I know you say it's the regenerate. Well, uh, the regenerate lets me... Um be emotional I think you know it like opens me up to where there's like this calmness and I and it hit it, it does hit me like it definitely hits me emotionally that is for sure but I mean I think it's because it from what I'm noticing with uh, like my friends who took it that get out of a shopping addiction or like whatever they're getting over it seems like when you get the GABA to your brain it gives you the clarity and you get what you need. You know what I mean? It may, like, it seems like that because it, it may be like, apparently I need some deep, like cleansing catharsis crying. Apparently that's what I needed. Yeah. Cause it's, I mean, I'm a mom too. So you can't just be, you know, walking around crying all day. And not that I want, not that I need nor, want to cry all day but i just when you're hit with this stuff that's so heavy mm -hmm. it's like um uh, it's intense no yeah you gotta cry well that's what i'm saying just learning and getting deeper in and fully realizing where we're at as a society right now is really and then how much change you know is happening yeah it's really and money inflating and all of that oh, stuff. It, it redoing it's, our careers, like so many of us, like the career in Hollywood's gone. You know? Yeah. I mean, I, and not that I even want it, because then you deep dive all those people and they're just, they're horrible. Mm -hmm. Well, we were talking about, every time I, you mentioned that, I'm always like, you know, I want to start doing short films or little whatever, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not saying, Tomorrow, there's a million things going on, but I'm saying, you know, also, you know, I want to do the monthly event and then the weekly event and then the daily event, right? So, um, yeah, just to have an NA party in Nashville at least one day a week needs Yeah. To so. Yes. What seems like you, what we're we're both doing in our lives, is uh, that's like that's a good example of the masculine and the feminine because you're super masculine and I'm apparently very feminine. Because, <laughs> but the thing is, I think that's a part of actually what regenerate is helping me with. I have been because of you know being frauded with Hollywood and having to like I am I am the boss, 
you know, I was at the boss at the studio. I'm also the boss at my movies. There's, yeah, you're, you're, uh, I'm living yeah, in my masculine. Yeah, there you go. Mm -hmm. So it's yeah. like I've been living in uh, in my like super stress, and like, uh, yeah. and run, running everything, including being a mom. That's like a that's a lot to stack on you. It's like you can't. It's like you, you're just in like okay, just get the day done and feed everybody. Yeah. And you know, and somehow shit shower and shave. Yeah. You know. Yeah, it's a stressful life. But now, yeah. after like the months, it's been where it's like actually that's not that's not my day at all. Like it's my day is not a stressful day anymore. Which that is one, great. That's step one. Yeah, yeah, which is just great. It's great, great, great. And I, I love what I do. And I, and I <clears throat> even like I'm traveling, I'm doing like a, I'm working on a book and another book. And, and I, it's, I feel like I'm incredibly useful to the world, you know? And I, I feel like obviously you are, but, and I, I just feel like I've been in the hot mess world like I I because I, I was essentially coming out of a crumbling building you know yeah. and it's like the whole thing fell out and you well, got like you know you got whatever you were able to grab you know my you're, life you're talking, you're talking about the pandemic I'm talking about pandemic I'm talking about Hollywood I'm talking about domestic right. violence I'm just like you know what I mean yeah. like you know, all the, of the, it the plan to do what they did to us they did it at a specific time. They knew that everything was changing due to technology, and you know everything was changing. So that was a that was the the reset, the great reset. Klaus talks about. And then you, is that the yeah. evil dude? That's like the evil guy in the yeah. minions who's yeah. like you every... will own nothing, and you will be happy. What the hell? Yeah, I just can't. Yeah. Why are you laughing? It's me coughing. <laughs> inside, it's just like in silence. <laughs> I muted myself. I know you muted yourself, so I was just like. <laughs> I mean, this, this this whole detox is rough, man. I tell you, because I mean, I'm not taking any asthma medicine anymore. Because the loot, mm -hmm. look at my, I got my loot right here. I start, here's my stress now. This is where my stress comes in. When this starts going lower, when, the, when this gets to about right here, I'm like, oh God. Well, well it's stop that because it's back in stock and- I love it. This is stuff is like me. And you know what? I so, really, I really like the new flavor, especially when I mix it with um, Regenerate. It's like mm. a, it's, I, it was an acquired taste. Your first bottle was an acquired taste too. Mm -hmm. It's like, a, cause you're just not used to it. It's a new, it's a, it's a totally different drink altogether. Yeah. So I wanted to keep it preserved and I wanted it to be all natural or as close to all natural as possible. So it's raw honey from Montana and Celtic sea salt, which is known for its high mineral content compared to other salts. I think it's 84 minerals in Celtic sea salt. So the raw honey, the salt, and you know, it has a little bit of a bitter taste from the cannabis. So it's an alcohol spirit replacement. You know, think about how an alcohol spirit tastes. I, I think put into the alcohol spirit bracket flavor bucket you know, it's just, is where I was trying to go with it. Oh, yeah, that's um, great. And, it, and it's like, um, you know, I could have done a lot of things to like make it not a unique taste, if that makes sense. Yeah. But I wanted it to be a unique, a unique taste. Like, not that it, I think Red Bull tastes terrible, but I'll just use it as the analogy, like part of, <laughs> Red Bull is, it's kind of tough to drink. It's like you take a sip and you know, that's not really that good. But it's got to do something because it tastes like chemicals. That's funny. <laughs> but it doesn't, it doesn't, I don't think it tastes like chemicals. I think it tastes like honey and salt. This does, so, yeah, it really does. So uh, I've acquired it now. I, I was but, like a fourth way through the bottle and I'm like, 
yeah. not on one sitting, obviously. No. And but these, I'm like, I've I've now, I've gotten a taste for it. And these original batches were uh, trying the different types of honey. You know, you've got your wildflower, your honeysuckle, your I don't know, all of the different styles of honey for the different parts of the year when they feed on different things. Mm -hmm. So eventually at some point there's going to be a signature honey where it will only be like this style of honey from this part of the year, right? But right now the, the honey taste is going to vary based on the taste of the honey. So eventually I want to figure out which style I personally like dark it. honey that where the bees are closer to the forest. And that's what that is. Oh, that's it, cool. It, yeah, that that's was my original thought. But the cannabinoids are a little bitter. So it's like double bitter. I like it. I think it's great. I could understand how people wouldn't like it. I could understand people really liking it after consuming it for a while because it's like a a little shot of honey and a little shot of salt, Celtic sea salt with all those minerals. Yeah, it's the good. Not, the body's not going to reject that. The body's going to be like, ooh, I, I, I like I that. I like that. Yeah, like and that. today... And, that's, I had... and that was what I was going for, was the body satisfaction, not necessarily the, the mouth, although I, I think it tastes interesting and good. But Yeah, now I've acquired a taste to it, and it's um, that's exactly it. It's like, ooh. My body likes this. Today I had like a shot. I had like a mm. like a whiskey shot, you know, shot, um, of loot, and it was like, it was like taking a mushroom pill. Okay. Okay. Like so, saying like, not hallucinating or anything, but just a super clear high, yeah. not. You know, not like a f funky, not, and there's no, it's not like smoking weed where you have the, uh, any kind of paranoia or any kind of like that, um, or like walking around in circles. It, it was more, uh, clear. Yeah. A clear high. Yeah. I, I, that was why I included CBG in it is CBG gives you energy and clarity. Yeah. CBG is a is a cannabinoid I want to play around with a lot more and uh, figure out what what the right dose is you know for C, for CBG for health benefits did you hear that joy to the world the one So regenerating started started her now she's learning a musical instrument. Can you speak Spanish yet? Uh, I like French. It's yeah, uh, learning some French. So so uh, so you're doing a what? What's the common regenerating day for you? Uh, in the morning, I do like a teaspoon. And is that and daily? daily or five days a no week it has it lately it's been daily and mm -hmm. uh, because i i have the new one that i just got and also i am um, it's tech issues like dealing with tech and like the stress like managing and working with other people that don't work at my pace mm -hmm. that does also drive me nuts and mm -hmm. um and dealing with tech stuff and also i have in my personal life there are situations i have to deal with other humans who are drunk and mean and it is uh it's something you know and so for me to stay centered and not to get into that party you know what i mean and regenerates very helpful actually regenerate honestly it helps me meditate more mm -hmm. If that makes sense. I mean, we mentioned that today. It was like, it's almost like an, a meditation enhancer. I, I, I think it just turns down the frequency of the brain a little bit. So you're closer to the, the, the frequencies where you can achieve a calm. It definitely helps me with my mom. Because I get like real frustrated with my mother. And I haven't been lately. It's like, I'm like more like, okay, what, how can I, 
help her. Like that was your advice to me. Thank you. Focus on the joy. Yeah. Yeah, because they won't listen to anything unless they have something to live for. So yeah, you gotta give them something to live for. In the absence of that, you're it's a way everything's a waste of time. That's yeah, that's what I would have done differently with my mother. Yeah, something. So now we're going to this big wedding. My, my cousin's getting married, and it's going to be this awesome, like, 1920s style wedding. So that has become the talk of it's everything is about the wedding now. That is so far away, and she's already like, well, how much is the gas going to cost? Like, from here to here, you know, that kind of thing. It's like, and in my world, I, I'm going to think about that like three days before we leave. Right, right. And my mom's like playing, and that, that I have to remember. I'm like, oh, yeah, okay, this is her excitement. Yeah. yeah, and then people that you know live a different life, they have you know different speed that they work at. You, like how you were just saying, people that don't work at the same speed that you do. No, but right. I've met I I met very few people who get all the shit done that I do. You do. My my best friend Allie did. She and I like I mean, she and I would do what ten humans would have done, like. We we do it by noon, hmm. you know, and it's like now though actually with Re- regenerate I am I'm like really uh, and I think also that's why I cry that's why I'm like emotional about it is because I'm assessing everything I'm going through my own library I'm going to like my own life I moved not since I took, started regenerate but I I like live in a different place. I'm divorced now for quite a few years and it's like a, it's a new life. It's like next phase of my life, but it's also reassessing, which I think a lot of people had to do after the pandemic is like, what are you actually doing with your career? What do you want to do? Do you want to work with that person? You know what I mean? Like actually um, it's like reassessment. Of, and then when you sit there and you think all oh, something that you spent 10 years of your life on is either a bust or, you know, a fail. It's like, it makes me cry and, and it's, yeah. it's, it's a good, but a good way and a bad I'm, I'm having, I'm like, I, cause I know I say this a lot, but it's like, I feel like I'm in the middle of a seesaw. Like and my job is just to balance, like stay balanced in the middle of the seesaw. Cause on mm-hmm. one side, it's like really, really intense. Like, I don't want to say dark, but it's like, there's a lot of stuff. And then the world, like the reality of the beasts that are running the show is horrible it's like so daunting that it makes me want to lay in traffic it really does like i just like i'm like ah and then on the flip on the other side i here's let me let me just say something to that just you know if everything is coming apart right like if in five years there there's currency has collapsed you know there's states broken off from the union there's war here on american soil whatever whatever the worst possible situation you can imagine you know yourself compared to other people in a sense it's like an advantage for capable people oh god i'll be up a tree i'll i'll be one of the survivalists well, I'll, yeah yeah well not even necessarily that just like you know there's- more wealth and more prosperity is created during downturns for a few, you know, oh. for a few, you know, not just, the, but not just wealth, but just like good decision making and actual living life and not being some drone that has two skills, you know, that's done the same job for 20 years, you know, I don't know. I'm just saying, I just, you just don't want to be old and useless when things collapse. You know what I mean? So as long as you know you're still useful, and you know I think everything is fine. So um, yeah. Well, and then on the flip side of the seesaw is like it's amazing. It's like the miracles are amazing. The people that are awake and aware are amazing humans. They're like yeah. me and you, like on repeat. You're like, oh my God, it just keeps getting better. Like you're the coolest person I've ever seen in my life. Like, wait, what? We're like, we're going to learn martial arts next. You know what I mean? It's like, 
I mean, it's the creativity, the the spiritual connection, the community, like the connection to the earth, these communities that are being put together as far as like actual like protecting the soil, cleaning up soils. I got some it's pretty great. Like there's it's just like what cuz I have legitimately traveled to every state in this country for many many years and on on repeat. And I what I will t- I've been saying this for a, over a decade that the media is lying that people are not actually at heads like the media yeah. says they are. Right. That yeah, no. that people like, are on both sides, the whole like blue or red or blue. They're black, actually like they're, it's so they're sitting at the table together. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's all. And a lot of it, I see a lot of it in big churches. And I mean, I and I know a lot of my friends, you know, can't handle the the church discussion. So it's like if you don't like the God side, if that freaks you out or whatever, you've got your issues with it. Go for the community. Well, I just think it really comes down to the operating system that you want to run on. And if there is no God, okay. If you want to just agree with the people that say that, that there is no unified field, no one consciousness, no God, does that operating system work better? Because <laughs> if it you does, mean like the devil people that are like right, torturing so, kids to, for their right, and then and then that develops into a society that's more chaotic, less order, more chaos. So that doesn't help anybody, you know. You know Speaking of, an, a, whoops, another um, thing about crying, which I think is relevant to many of my friends who have supported people that they didn't realize were perps. Mm-hmm. There is a really daunting process of time. Because, I mean, I've been in this world of the trauma and recovery world for 20 plus years. I've known about some of this stuff for a really, really long time. Like even things like Bill Cosby. I knew that in 2004. You know what I mean? Like, so all of all this stuff, like I knew about like Harvey Weinstein in the nineties, like wait, wait, like I knew all that shit was going on. And then I started to discover, discovering in the two thousands, the realities of the darker stuff. But those of people who don't know that, who are just now understanding it and may, and not believing it when they, that process of time to realize that you literally have been lied to and you bought it and you were promoting the perpetrator, even if it's like your own dad or like, you know, or your whatever family and you, and you're, you've been promoting it, whether you knew it or not is, um, that's a hard pill to swallow. And that's why many people refuse to look at it. Like they refuse to do it. They'll just, they'd rather stay in ignorance and defend it then actually just sit to actually realize they have been living a total lie you know it's like that it's a it's a real process i had that experience also working with so many nonprofits cuz you know on the road when I, I was speaking for a lot of nonprofits and stuff and then finding out that many of the nonprofits are total bullshit too yeah, that was a bummer when I went down that rabbit hole. That was oh. that was quite some time ago, too. I think it was because some business that was promoted to donate through what I was working for, CVS, that I was just like, you know, I just wanted to know what every year they were asking for this huge sum of money from me to donate to, you know. And then you investigate and, them and, and you're like, gross. Yeah. Yeah, and it's like... That, it's just a hard pill to swallow. Reality. I mean, it really is. And then so there, but then like a like a um, the seesaw. It's like well, on the good side or the light side or whatever you want to call it, in the other side, it's um it's magnificent. So, I mean, there's it's a dance, but then I don't know. I the the beast, you- the dark side, really does scare me, and I don't want nothing to do with it. You just have to believe that truth and that good will always prevail because people would be more magnetized towards good than evil. But, you know, who knows? 
unless they're oh. just not aware. You know, they're just consumers, just not even right. aware at all. Yeah. Yeah. But, well, yeah. I just wanted to get to your uh, regenerate experience and, <laughs> um, and then tell you and then tell you that about the, you know, going through the acceptance phase. I think is when the tears come out. And, yep. uh, I, I can tell personally that I still have some inside of me that haven't been, a, that I haven't been able to shake loose from, you know, cause it's a super bummer, you know, it's, it's, you know, more and more evidence coming out about the crimes that our government has done. Oh my God. Why were there bio labs in Ukraine? And if somebody, if Russia set up bio labs in Mexico, we wouldn't be happy about it either. You know, and, and, you know, all of the color revolutions and the Gaddafi stuff, buildings falling by themselves. I mean, the, all the Kennedy stuff, like it's been super corrupt forever. Yeah. And Nixon was one of the most popular presidents and got impeached and removed, you know. So you know the next thing is as soon as if Trump gets back, then they'll start impeaching him over and over again. Oh my God! What a you mess! Know? It's just a mess. So dumb. It's such and a really waste of time. They, and really, what they just want is gridlock. That's why, you know, I've said it before. I think that if people just stop believing in them, you know, and nobody works for them, nobody supports them, you know, it doesn't matter if they send you a letter or a note to go see them. If they don't control your bank accounts, you know what I mean? Like if we're on crypto, you know? Yeah, that is a whole nother world that I haven't deep. I, I bought, I like in the crypto beginning, I bought like XRP, XRP or whatever the, I, I got that's some. Good. That's going to be a good one. I got yeah. some of that. And then I got like a, a like a teeny little itty bitty piece of a Bitcoin. You know, I could buy a piece of gold. <laughs> yeah. A little piece of gold. Um, but then, I mean, I haven't done anything. I could say like all together, I probably have $500 yeah. big, big whoop, but I, but it's, a, I, so that's another thing I need to learn, but what I have intentionally, uh, been learning and also the regenerate has been helping me stay calm and clear is just get your s small circumference set your family, mm. like your, like if, if the, sh if if it, the internet does go down, you know if if like if you're in the prepper world and the prepper th um, mindset, are you okay? Like, what would you do? Do you, are you set for a little bit? Do you know where your water is? Like things like that. So yeah, you want to be you want to be set for like a few few weeks because you know there'll be resupplies, but people panic when there's a snowstorm. So if something oh, no. really goes down. You better make sure you already have your water and your stuff, otherwise you gotta freak out too. Yeah, well that's what yeah. I'm gonna do. I'm a but I'm I've I have my freezer full of meat, but I don't like I don't I have a, just a freezer. Like, I'm thinking about like getting one of those coffin freezers, you know. I hear you. Yeah, and you have a kid to worry about. I I just want to get past the initial one. You know what I mean. The initial one, I, what? The initial, like, two weeks of chaos. Because you, I just feel like you can't really prepare. Uh, you can if you assign a lot of money, time, and effort to it. But I just choose to believe in a world where we're not going to be in chaos. Yeah, no, I'm not preparing, like, live totally. I'm just, it's been empowering to, yeah, just know what you would do. And, like, from a survivor standpoint, like, you know, it's like next level survivor. Where's your meds? Where you get like everything just got cut off. Yeah. You know, kind of like what happened with that's, us. You're you can't leave your house. What are you gonna do? Right, and that's why yeah. I've been on the collecting health equipment uh, on a regular yeah. basis. Yeah. <clears throat> well, Easy. you're big. I I, I want to do your set thing. Like you just tell me everything to do, and I just you know, I buy everything. So yeah. yeah. Yeah, and, and, and I have friends, I want to, your whole, like, I don't know, you don't have a name for it yet, do you? Like, your. there needs to be a name for it. Anyway, like, that's, you're the one package. 
That's a good oh, one. Like the yeah, one yeah. package. Like for you to give everything. Like basically, you're you've done the research, so you save me right. all the time. I right, don't call then, a doctor anymore. I call you. And then and then uh, have it so it's the same price as all of the stuff that you were to go out and buy it individually. Oh yeah, and if it just shows up at my house, me. exactly, right. and it just like it, that's amazing. Right. It's yeah. really cool. It's really cool. One of the things that I try to talk about is the getting out of judgment and into curiosity. And what I noticed is when I just keep staying myself and even raw and like, okay, this is when Angela visits and she's crying, you know, or this is where, she, you know, she's doing dance shows now. What's she crazy shit she's doing? But um, instead of uh, fighting with the, like, being angry about it. I'm just like, I don't care how you feel real. I mean, I love you, but I don't care. I'm just still doing myself. I've noticed that people in my family or issue or people that I've had this kind of issue with, um, start coming around asking me what I'm doing. Yeah. See privately. Yeah. Like, Hey, what's that thing you're doing? It's you know so what I mean? Like, that, like your friends and family, when you start doing better, you know, seem to want you to not <laughs> they, it's like a sabotage doing, yeah because they're mm. not doing it themselves that's why i always say you know the woman that talks to all of her friends about her man is a super red, red flag and I, family, yeah i, I and don't do it's it like anymore you're dating 10 women <laughs> but one woman uh, you're dating 10. my last one uh i had a like a bad thing happened with him and i told my i told my sister I had a bad bad thing and i told my family because i was really upset about it did bad bad thing did bad bad thing and um in their eyes he's done yeah can't you know you're never gonna talk to that man again and it's like well that's not you you, you didn't know what i did well, right, that's the thing. It's it, and you can't, you can't ask women that anymore. Like, wow, that's pretty crazy. What happened? Well, what did you do just before that? <laughs> you know, what, you know what I'm saying? Like, no, yeah, you can't say that. It's totally taboo. You can't say that. But I think it's important that like, like it, that women recognize when they did something that you know caused a problem to happen. That's just being smart to not do those things again. Well, yeah. honestly, it's a huge education for me watching how my mom is. It teaches me what not to do. Yeah. Staying present and calm and just witnessing it and seeing how, um, God bless my mother. I'll use her as an example. Uh, if she sees this, I don't know. You can cry about it or we could talk. We could go, <laughs> is watching passive aggressiveness like a twisty you're trying to create drama yeah and issues and it is just yeah. like oh it's, my it's, god I it's just... people that always want to have that emotional tug on someone they it's a really weird thing i've noticed that and once you're in the present moment that stuff stops working on you right you're like well you're... okay yeah, when you're triggered and you're in an emotional reactive state, people right. can play with your emotions. So people that have done that their entire life because that's they're only used to being around people in fight or flight. And then it just doesn't uh, work. I think right. I think it just I just think it, that type of stuff stops work. Well, that behavior is also what a lot of the women are doing to the fellas. Yes. My mom did it to her fellas too. I witnessed yes. my mom with fellas. I wouldn't wish her on anybody. That's I mean, that's that's, oh my, that's what a lot of them do because they want to they want to control from behind the scenes. And then it turns in that he was so horrible and right. whole, so bad, and you're like, actually, no, I I was there. I saw the whole thing. You created the whole thing. Right. You yeah. like you created the whole thing, and it was sort of overthinking creating drama, making stuff happen that wasn't there and overthinking. And yeah. yeah. And meanwhile, the dude that, is simple. That's, 
that's why that uh, I sent it to you on Instagram. This is a few days ago. You're probably not going to remember. But then he said, haha, NPCs. I don't know if you actually opened up the link and absorbed it, but what it was was somebody saying that if they were calling people that don't have a constant narrative in their heads an NPC in the comments. So they were oh. so they were making they were conflating if you have a constant narrative in your head. And then people are like, haha, I've got more like seven. And right. then, ha, ha, ha. And then like, I can't, and then there's all these people walking around that don't have any dialogue in their head. And it's like NPCs. Right. And then it's like, they got the wrong connection. Just because you don't have a constant chatter in your head, that's called like having a, a control over yourself. Right. You have, like, the, you're in the present moment. You're in the present moment. You're intentional. You're you don't calm. have a constant voice different. And then the person that's coming, ah, more like seven or four. You're like, and then they're like, ah, yeah, those idiots that don't have any dialogue in their head. It's like, and then them commenting that those must be NPCs. I was like, wow, there's a lot of people in the state of madness. <laughs> they, haven't figured, they haven't figured out even the most basic of things, which is you are not your thoughts. You are the area in between. You know? I don't know. Does that make sense or no? Oh, yeah, no, yeah. And then that, yeah. it would be more like those would be the more of the saints and the monks are the ones that don't have any thoughts in their head. Oh, they're you in, think? They're, they would be more like the ones that are in meditation. Yeah. yeah, the B Buddhist monks are always meditated all day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That would be like, they're not, they don't have 15 chatterboxes going on in their head. Right. But you did that. I, I know why you did that. Because I, anger and, and creating, creating drama is like, wow, holy Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, it's really crazy. Yeah, it, it really it's is. It's really crazy. And so right. I've noticed with my, it's like things you don't like. It's like, okay, I don't want to do it myself. Like that, that's what not to do. And I have, I have noticed uh, in being present, and actually I've noticed it a lot since Regenerate. It, honestly, that, that's my biggest things of being really emotional, really present and aware of like my own uh, fears, insecurities, and overthinking, and like making and it, things in life re reconnecting back to your core trigger, and has nothing to do with your core trigger you're just triggered by your core trigger because somebody did something that was similar and you're gonna think that oh this is gonna be the same thing god you know i'm gonna cry um yeah yeah triggered then ah! uh, then, uh, <laughs> uh also you are taking loot at the same time so oh because i'm high as hell yeah so some of that emotional stuff i think could be very well coming from loot because I don't get, Ooh. because I don't get the emotional stuff really from regenerate. But but of course I understand how it could happen. Even just the, the magnesium content and regenerate could be relaxing fascia in your body, Ooh. and then having emotions escape through that too. Ooh, that makes sense. Um, yeah. But I'm. It's not only in a bad way. The emotions I mean are not like a just like a sad sack it's it's also like super profound eye-opening write another book series eye-opening i've had so i mean i haven't even told i've told you very little about my own spiritual experiences and that kind of stuff will make me cry because it mm. it's so like seeing beyond the veil like mm. seeing beyond not only seeing but stepping beyond the veil and it's um, it's just so it, there's the that there's so beautiful. It's so beautiful that it's it's like just bawling beautiful. Like you can't do anything but just ball. Yeah. See, I'd like to run a loot lounge in my car. I want to have a mobile, you know, one night a week in Nashville or yeah, or just different places where people do uh, you know, NA night or 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 if they're really serious about alcohol, at least like a no. 
mixed drink night, you know, just beer and loot, you know, because a little bit of alcohol, I think, mixes with loot. A lot um, of alcohol does not. Uh, fruity, funky beers are really great with loot. When and that's, I was trying to make it like a funky beer, like a, it, I, it is, but that, would you say it's kind of like a, I don't know, I don't know. I want you to tell me what it tastes like, but that's what I was going for. Is like, you know, to have it taste like, you know, like kind of remind one of alcohol, you know, but not be alcohol to really make it. Cause you know, you take it like a little tiny shot. So one big blast or one additive to another drink. So I had thought about doubling the salt and honey concentration. Did you notice the bottle light on the bottom? The what? Don't don't up don't make it up. Put the cap on. Lift the bottle above your head. Push that button. No way. Push it one more time. One more time. All right, now look at it. No way. Yeah, way. Yeah, that comes. They all. Does it, 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 every bottle have that? Yeah, yeah. I'm putting it on every bottle. Now. Oh my god, that is so cool. Look right. at that. Yeah, there you go. I love yeah. it. Isn't that cool? It's How it really glows. Cool. It's really yeah, yeah, so cool. So whenever you put it on camera, please. Oh my turn god, it up. it's really just no. Cool. It only lasts. It doesn't last. I mean, it. I think if you leave it on straight, it's done in like twelve hours or twenty twenty four hours. It doesn't make it to thirty six hours. So just turn it on when you want. Oh, okay, it so you like. Gotcha. Like don't, that is you don't want so to leave cool. it on overnight or something. Like, isn't that cool? I, I thought that turned that out really, really well. cool. So I did that originally at one of the first loot events. We went to a nightclub. It was a jazz show. And had all the lot, the lights on the bottom of the bottle. So, so cool. And then I was like, ah, you know, it shows you how, what, how, what a great businessman. It's like, ah, it's only like another couple bucks. So... It's really cool. <laughs> so, That's like me. I want to embroidered titles. Well, look at the cat. Look at the cork on top now. <clears throat> oh yeah, it's really nice. And Fancy. it says, and it has a plus on it. Says loot dot life. Yeah. Because like a wine, you know, it's expensive. You might not buy it every time you go to the store or or every no. time. You, but you gotta uh, keep the bottle. You gotta keep put... the cork, keep the bottle, maybe. Yeah. I, exactly. I've, I have a flower arrangements of mine over there. Yeah, and then like, the light. I stick like the... one flower in them. Well, I was just thinking how people that drink wine keep the corks. So I just wanted mm. to have the corks branded. And uh, yeah, so at any rate, you know, turn the light on, whatever. It's like part of the ritual of, have, you know, of making. I can't wait. I'm gonna do it for my birthday. I'm, I'm having a. Um... I am having a, uh, what should I call it? Um, book writing club. It, mm -hmm. it falls on my birthday this month. So I'm going to do it birth? December 5th. Oh, wow. That's right around the corner. I did not know that. Yeah, it's Tuesday. Yeah, you know, I just read a thing that you're not supposed to sing the happy birthday song or acknowledge a new age because, first of all, age is irrelevant. And True. they have us programmed that, um, you know, you're supposed to reduce in skills and ability as you age. So as you, if you acknowledge today and add another year, it's, it's harmful to you. Oh, so go backwards? No, not go backwards. Just like, you know, don't make a big deal out of another year. Right. Oh, that's true. Celebrate yourself yeah, or something. Good. You can, they, that's in Greece, they have name days. <coughs> so whatever your name yeah. is, that's like your name day. Mm -hmm. That's a cool, yeah. that's a cool concept of like celebrating people. I'm excited. My stress, honestly, as far as like a scared of the, scared of the bad guy, uh, which I just admitted today. I was like, oh my God, I'm scared of the bad guy. Okay, then now that I've admitted that I'm scared of the gap bad guy, I'm not, I'm not scared. <laughs> You know, you know what I mean? It's like that, you, know you mean? see that new Elon Musk thing? <laughs> yeah. Where he's like, oh, God, fuck yeah. you. Fuck you. Bob, are you in the Go audience, fuck Bob? Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Who's Bob? Who was he referring Bob to? Bob Iger, Disney, who just pulled all the oh. Disney 
uh, ads from Twitter. I just I agree. Who cares? Assange interview the Tucker Carlson and Julian Assange video to come out, and if he'd said that he did it and then it was coming, but then he didn't. He hasn't released it. I wonder if like. Who's Julian? Who's that? Who's Julian that? Assange is the guy with WikiLeaks that like. Oh, he, is he still in jail? Yeah. yeah Jesus. Still in jail. So are so are people from January sixth, and they invited him in. They waved him in. They moved the barricades out of the way. That's what I've been because I knew that in January twenty twenty, not because I planned on watching it. A buddy of mine came to my house and said, "Hey, you want to watch the January sixth stuff?" You know, whatever, the protest at the Capitol, I was like, oh, whatever. I didn't think anything was going to happen. <laughs> and then we're like, what? <laughs> but they, but we watched them let them in. It didn't yeah. make sense. Nobody was pushing on the fence. Nobody. And then they were stopping the dudes from vandalizing the Capitol. People in the crowd were, were stopping people in the crowd who were vandalizing vandalizing the Capitol. And it turned but out the, the vandalizers of those were feds. Feds. Right. There were pay, paid yeah. people in those. Yeah. So it's just, they're trying to force a narrative down our throats. But people buy it. My favorite reaction that I saw that I just was like, oh my God, I love it so much, is when that video footage came out mm -hmm. and it was all over Twitter X. Um, this comments from like and they even said super liberal or like i'm liberal or like whatever um it said it's good luck like sharing all this footage now because we have already seen what really happened yeah, and, yeah. and not only seen but it. she showed a yeah. but she showed a picture of all the headlines of all the newspapers yeah, yeah, yeah. and they literally were like insurrection the downfall of the united states blah, blah, blah. and it I, but all in done like a collage. So she literally just proved the point that she's been brainwashed and propaganda to. Right. I know. It's, uh, but it's, then she used it as her own. I know. Like, they're not smart. They're, they're not smart. And they're fragmented people. And they're in fight or flight. And they're poisoned. And it's sad. And, you know, what do you do? Yeah. And on top of it, you got all your traumas. Oh my God, I literally just looked at my dear friend. I looked at a picture from my dear, dear friend who I love so, so much, but she is so poisoned. Like the, from the meds, oh my God, to the trauma, oh my God. Like like top, worst of the worst. Like she's on like top, top dog, not good, you know? Um, and has the most patient husband ever. He needs a plaque and that's a whole other subject. The point was she is so adamantly protective of the narrative yeah and says that this that she has the narrative that anything like this discussion is incorrect has been propagandized to is you know is just right-wing rhetoric um that you don't know what you're talking about you need to follow science right you need to follow the medical industry you need to listen you need to read uh, or, the statistics or, read uh, those papers you already have all of the other conditions that they have. You know, you're in danger. It's it's you like, need or, to... or the other favorite one is, what are you, a doctor? And it's like, no, but I've been to the doctor and I know when somebody's bullshitting me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, my favorite was when the asthma attacks in the hospital. Like, and me, it has to be something at eight or two or something, and the doctor saying, no, 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 it's not, con it's not connected to anything you eat ever. <laughs> I can, well, that's that, it's just that, like I, I, I just can't believe that you <laughs> ate the glass. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's a great story. Oh my so god, okay, okay, okay listen, so that tough. is a great. Why story. did you eat the glass? That is the ultimate regenerate story. Okay, I, I am. Hey y'all, hey, I'm so Angela Schultz. I'm addicted to this stuff. Don't. It's, it's not addictive though. I don't think it's. It's not, it's not, a, it's not addictive. This is, I, I love this stuff so much and it's expensive. Even worth it. I would have sent you another one. It doesn't matter. I, st I, it, this, it was about like this. It was a little bit like down like this and it fell out of the back of my, my vehicle and crashed to the ground. And me and my kid were like, ah! And your kid. And I, and she saw it and then she knew exactly what I was going to do. And I went and got a bowl 
and I I picked out all the glass, and then I like scooped out because there was a there was a pile. It's like a little you can't leave that. Listen, <laughs> that's expensive. You get every bit of that. Not worth. You vacuum yes. that up and like spit it back out. And um, anyway, so I I I thought I sifted out all the glass. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, I got rid of the glass and I cleaned up and then I had the powder. And then I sifted through it and then I, the next morning I took one and I was having it already a particularly stressful time, which is why I wanted it, which is why I'm like, I, I was going to be out. I'd have to wait for you to shit. Like, I'm, I don't know. I want this in like a little leather protective case. Oh, okay. like, I'll get, the, I'll buy that little the, thing, that little brass yeah, thing the, the you brass, have. That's my, the brass yeah, that's my, yeah. Yeah. And I like your belt buckle too. Anyway, yeah, I think so, that's it, so, well, so I um, it's all I took. It's all. It's it's so experience. good. It's so good. But this, you know, I needed a hit of it. I needed it, and so I took some, and then I felt this thing, and I was like, and I was like, oh my god, and but I'd already swallowed, and then I spit. And there was glass in the spit on the sink. And then I was like, oh, my God, I'm going to die. Oh, my God, I'm going to die. And then I was like, it's fine. And then I sat there and started to throw my, make myself throw yeah, up. Yeah, let's bring the glass back up before the stomach acid takes care of it. We're, gonna, we're just going to bring that back up through the same <laughs> hole. Yeah. Uh, and then I got on the Internet and it said, if you swallow glass, get to the hospital immediately. <clears throat> I was like, oh, great. Now I'm gonna have to go to the hospital. Gonna be this, gonna go. <laughs> so dumb. And here I am. So, and here I am. Listen, I don't. I, 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 hey, I, I wrote a book called Dumb Model. <laughs> oh God. Don't eat so glass. Don't, don't eat glass. If you break your bottle, Sean will send you another one. <laughs> I would prefer to send you another bottle. Yes. Than, but, than have but, anyone uh, eat that glass. is how. That is how much I love this stuff that I scraped it up. And I went, I listened, I, I looked it up on the internet and it said, get to the hospital right away. So I go to the hospital. I'm, I'm like, I'm, and I'm like laughing to myself, but also a little freaked out. I know, I and talked thinking, to you like, and I was like, oh, you know, I, was did, like, what? I don't like this. Cause like, what if there's a shard? What if it cuts me? What if I'm like slowly bleeding to death? What if like, I'm finally calm and clear and I die because I, <laughs> I'm like, hell, this is like that defending your life movie when the like Meryl Streep dies because she tripped and fell into a pool. I don't You're watch like, Meryl ah. Streep movies, but yeah. Oh my God, I, was, I have so many things to say. <laughs> anyway, so I'm sitting in the hospital, right? And the nurse is there, which I always entertain them because it's me. And, and she's going through my list of meds and she's like, are you on this? Are you on this? And I just kept saying, no, 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 no. I'm not on any meds since I started drinking your loot. Yeah. Oh, look, watch this. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah. That is so cool. Who knew? You didn't know that I had that on the bottom of your, bo your bottle, did you? No, you just pressed this button. Yeah, I, it I guess when I have to put instructions on it, if you didn't notice it, other people aren't going to notice it. Oh, I, I think you have, to, it's going to be something you've got to discover. Yeah. Like you gotta look. Did you know that it does that? That is so cool. Anywho, so I, I'm not on any pharma because of this, and plus this also gets you nice and lit, happy. And I'm I'm not. And the nurse can't believe it. And she goes, "What? Um. So what? What are you doing that you're not on any meds?" And 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 she goes, "Is it essential oils?" Yeah. I thought it was so funny. She like le like leaned in, made sure that nobody was looking. She's, is it essential oils? And and, and I and I started laughing. I stuff loot and regenerate. I'm taking loot and regenerate. And, and she was like, "What?" And you're gonna start doing that? the peppermint. I really like that peppermint. I did the peppermint. I brought out my essential oil little bucket that I'd had for a long some one of those parties a long time yeah. ago. That I bought one of those little things, and now it's like old. Yeah. Um. And now my kid is really into it. Oh, that's cool. It's got to so be careful that, that she doesn't like, put too much of it on because some of them can be toxic and too high of dose. Oh, that's good to know. She um, puts lemon. She likes the lemon one. I get like, you know, organic and you know, a good one. 
Yeah, I, I need to learn from the essential oils from you. <laughs> Is it essential oils? No, it's it's loot and regenerate, and I can get essential oils too. Recommendations from you. I like peppermint and clove, and bergamot and uh, frankincense. I think I have. But a lot of it. Is, I definitely have clove. A lot of it is just like bringing awareness to your body through putting something on it. So, in some sense, hey. it doesn't matter which one. Um, but <laughs> speaking of, but I got a speaking of going to put something uh, on your body. I need to put a bed on mine. I know that's what I was about to say too. I'll uh, chat with you tomorrow. Yeah, play us, fiddle us out here. Fiddle yourself. <laughs> let's let's see if I can remember it. Oh God. It is. That's the first line of Crumple Creek, but, we, but it's too slow. But this is. I may not have heard this song before. Wait, this is George of the World. <laughs> hey, you know what? It's beautiful. I... That's beautiful, Angela. That's great job, Angela. <laughs> That's just so pretty, Angela. That just, you did such a good job. <laughs> High five. It was so good. Oh my god. Oh my god. I gotta leave you with one story. No, you don't have to play another one. That was so good. I can't take anymore. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so good. You know, it's so good you don't want too much. You know. <laughs> That's how good it is. <laughs> oh my face hurt. That's really funny. Alright. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Bye.